What's going on guys? Today we have a recipe I'm extremely excited about because it's one of my favorite low carb products. So we tried recreating the recipe. Today we are making Stoka bars. You guys may have seen our product review of these. These are really awesome. And obviously it's a small business, so support them, go out and buy their product, but we are gonna show you how to recreate these today. The fact that we can actually recreate this in our own kitchen probably means it's a good product. Like we tried making Quest chips one time. Actually, I've tried making them like six times. It doesn't really work. You need a science lab for that. If you guys don't know what this is, it's like a really crunchy, almost like a Nature Valley granola bar. You can like break it and it makes a loud noise. That's the telltale sign that you've made these right. Let's go over the ingredients real quick first because there is one one that we need to talk about. So the basis of this is almonds. We got raw almonds here. This is one cup. If you can't find raw, toasted will probably work fine, but raw is gonna be your best bet. We have a little bit of erythritol, two tablespoons. We have one tablespoon of psyllium husk powder. We're gonna make this uh, vanilla cinnamon flavor. So we got some cinnamon here, a teaspoon. We got some vanilla extract, we got some stevia, and some coconut oil. But the ingredient you may not have, maybe you wanna go out and get it, cause you do need it for this recipe, butter powder. So if you look on the ingredients here, butter powder is the third ingredient. You need it for this to work. There's only a few places you can get this. Amazon is where I got this. I'm gonna link this below. So you probably don't wanna buy this just to make this recipe. It does actually go pretty well in fat bombs. You can use it, it makes them a little more stable. Pretty good for that. You can make like a meal replacement shake using this. You can do like whey protein and some butter powder. That's kind of what keto meal is. This recipe might just be good enough to justify purchasing this. Here we go, it's pretty easy. We got a food processor here. We are basically just going to add everything to it. So we got a cup of almonds. We got the psyllium husk powder, one tablespoon. And I like using Now Foods brand psyllium husk powder. We've tried a bunch of different brands. This is one, it won't turn your baked goods like gray or purple. It has like a nice toasty flavor. I definitely would recommend that brand. A teaspoon of cinnamon, two tablespoons of erythritol, two tablespoons of the butter powder. And you can see it's just like really fine butter then we're gonna do just a splash of vanilla extract in there about a half teaspoon we're gonna do 20 drops of liquid stevia and then the one adjustment we had to make to the original recipe is we're gonna add a half tablespoon of coconut oil this is not in the original recipe but I could not get it to work without doing this. So we're gonna add a half tablespoon worth of coconut oil. I imagine butter, ghee, all those would work. I think even like olive oil would work here. And that's really all there is to it. Now we're just gonna pulse this. You don't want to completely pulverize the almonds into oblivion. You want them to be pretty chunky. There it is, right there. Get in here. Look at that consistency, see? You got some that's more of like a fine powder. You have some like even whole almonds basically still in there. That's gonna be perfect. This is gonna cook up nice. Now you notice this is not like a batter. It's not a dough. It's basically just a solid mass. So you might be questioning, how is this going to turn into a granola bar? That's a good question. I don't really know how it works, but it does work. So we are going to put this into bar molds and bake this. So we're gonna be using this like protein bar mini loaf silicone mold. This is perfect for making bars like this. You can use whatever you have on hand though if you do muffins. I would just say don't fill it over like a half inch high or else it will not really bake through and not hold firmly. If you do a muffin, don't like fill it up all the way, just fill the bottom of it. And we've got the oven preheating to 275 degrees. We're gonna make four bars here. That means you're using a quarter cup, one serving worth of almonds per bar. Okay, so there you can see these are evenly divided. One thing you wanna note is try getting the big pieces. If you see like a really big piece, get it in the middle more because if it, the big pieces are on the edges, they won't really hold together with the rest of the, the bar. Press this down really firmly into the mold. These are gonna go in the oven at 275 for about 30 minutes. Just as the edges start getting brown, the center should be cooked through and it'll just kind of like melt together, become really hard. Uh, we're gonna check on these in a half hour. We'll be back. Let's see how they turn out. We're back guys. 275 for 30 minutes is the perfect cook time for these. These have actually been cooling for about 15 minutes now. Give them time to cool. Right when you take them out, they're gonna be soft. They're not gonna be crispy enough. Give them time to cool, they will eventually set and be crispy. So you can see they're holding together pretty well. Just kind of peel back the silicone molds here. And then you gotta be gentle. They're definitely like a little on the crumbly side. Check that out, look at that. We did it guys. 
These are Nature Valley granola bars. So come here, this is the real test. You gotta get in here, the crispiness test. Do you hear that? It's still a little warm, so it will be crispier when you let it set all the way completely cool. These are really awesome because you can take these on the road. These are stable at room temperature. Just really awesome, really sweet and delicious. I'm gonna give these a try. Here we go. Oh my gosh, nothing like it. Okay, I know I say this all the time, the absolute best recipe we have ever come up with right here, guys. This is it. Nature Valley granola bars. Listen. Boom. That's how crispy they are. Absolutely mandatory homework for everyone doing a keto diet to make these. I'll be checking the test tomorrow morning. Make these as soon as possible. As always, guys, support the small businesses, Stoka Bars. They're the originators of this. They sell it on Amazon. I'm going to link them below. Give them a try. Maybe buy some of those. Make some of these. Do a taste test. Let me know which one you like better. The link to the blog post that has all the ingredients. The description is below. Tag us on Instagram when you make this. Stoka bars, guys. One more time. You have to make these.